Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today we are going to look at the As Seen on TV Chill Chest foldable cooler and see how it does keeping barbecue warm. Stick around. So I usually use my igloo cooler for trying to keep my barbecue warm, for holding my barbecue. Um, and if I'm using one of these quarter sheet pans, these smaller aluminum pans, you can fit one in there, you can stack them up on top of each other, and they fit fine. That's, that's not a big deal. It's when you use these half size pans, these ones that are a little bigger, um, that's when I run into a problem with all the coolers I have. I don't have any really gigantic coolers, but when I try to put this half size pan in there, I have to bend the edges up and I have to kind of scrunch it to get it in there and it kind of scrapes down the side and that's really not good. So I'm hoping that this chill chest will give me a, uh, a little bit more space so I can fit the pans in there without having to really deform them and crunch them and, and bend them to get them in. So you can see here, I don't want to really destroy the packaging too much in case I need to return it. So I'll get that open. And you can see here, you can actually see the little marks on it and stuff. It looks very much like um, styrofoam, a little denser. It doesn't dent or anything. I'm pushing it in with my thumb and it doesn't really leave a mark. So that's cool. Um, and it's got instructions on the top. I don't know how well you can see that of how to do it, but basically, yeah, open it up like that. You pull up this, you can see there's these little tabs here that kind of squeeze in. Same thing on this side. Take the instructions out. And then it's got a lid that actually seals down pretty tight. And there you go. There's the full size, you know, chill chest. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it says in the in the in the description if you've ever seen the uh, commercial on TV, which I haven't. Uh, I watched it on YouTube. There's guys that stand on it. I, I'm a big boy, so I'm not really going to try to stand on it. But trust me, it feels pretty darn sturdy. All right, first off, let's see if it'll hold two pans. Like these pans don't have anything in them right now, full-size pans. I'm still going to use a towel at the bottom. Yes, it's Hello Kitty. Don't judge me. Okay, just to kind of protect the bottom from it. And you can see right away, there's not a ton of room in there, but it definitely holds one pan. And then I can get this one on top and there's still room in there to, you know, put another towel. If that's what you want to do. And close up the lid. Not bad. I could probably stuff a little more towels in there. Now, if I was going to have um, a tray in there that really was mounded up, I probably could only do one. But um, for thin things like ribs or something, something that's not going to be big, you could get away with putting two full-size foil pans in there. So not bad. To test out this chill chest, what I'm going to be using is some beef plate ribs that I'm making on my pellet smoker here. You can see they're almost getting done. They're starting to pull in a little bit on the bone. Ooh, they are looking good. All right, so I pulled these off of the grill. They feel completely like butter. I mean, it goes through effortlessly. If we take a temp, you can see it's like in the 196, 95 range. Um, I'm going to cover these up and I'm going to go put them inside the chill chest and see how well the temperature holds. Since I have all this extra room in there, since I'm only doing one pan, I am going to put some towels on there. I do that with the cooler too. I know you're gonna say like, oh, but the towels are really affecting the performance. Yeah, but I do it with my Eagle cooler too, so I don't really see the problem. All right, so this, uh, these beef ribs have been sitting for an hour. I'm gonna crack it open here. Sorry, the lighting is a little weird. I'm underneath an umbrella because it's kind of drizzling out here. All right, let's get deep down in here. Still feels nice and warm. All right, gonna get the foil up here. Ooh, 
Those look really good. Now let me do a really quick temperature check. We've got about 180, 181 reading on there, 182. Um, so it's dropped a little bit. It's dropped about 10 degrees in an hour, but really that's not that bad. Um, I'll probably, you know, I wouldn't hold it in here much longer than an hour, hour and a half. Um, that's probably long enough to do it, but it did a pretty good job of holding the temperature, especially for, you know, a little bit over an hour that it's been sitting here. So this thing says it's great for grocery shopping and camping, poolside, fishing, all that stuff. I think they need to add a, a maybe, you know, barbecue to that. Because it actually did a pretty darn good job holding the barbecue. Um, is it as good as a Yeti? Nope. Is it as good as my Igloo? Probably not. But for the amount of size it takes up, the weight of it, and the price, actually worked pretty well. So I am a big fan of the Chill Chest, as seen on TV. You can see the chill chest, I mean, not a bad option if you're looking for something that's small and lightweight to keep your barbecue warm. Did a really good job. I mean, the temperature of my beef ribs only dropped a couple degrees before I uh, had them ready for, you know, serving. That was an hour. You can probably extrapolate out based on uh, how much it went down in an hour, how much you get out of two hours and three and so on and so forth. But if I'm looking to hold it for an hour, an hour and a half, this is definitely a great option. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I also have a Facebook page. Just search for Dave's Ohio Barbecue on Facebook. You should be able to find it. And uh, make sure you hit that subscription button down there. Subscribe and hit the little bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time I make a new video. I have a lot of videos coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.